Hi everybody, we're glad you're here today with Orient Outreach. Today in the studio we have Bob Smith with us who is organizing an event at our Veterans Memorial on 9-11. We want to remember the 20 years uh, that has passed since that took place and he will be bringing in special guests to meet with you. So let's learn about that today. Thank you, Bob. We're so glad you're here. Well, thank you for asking me. Um, you've been involved with the uh, Veterans Memorial for a long time, but you've also been putting together this event on September 11th to bring this before the people. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing there. Well, we're going to have a ceremony starting at uh, 7 p.m. that night, and uh, it's at the or Orient Veterans Memorial there at o o Donna and M24, and um, it's going to be remembering the 20 years later, and I'm going to have key, uh, two very special speakers that night. Um, one of them is our own Honorable Judge uh, Michael Warren from the 6th District Court in uh, uh, Oakland County, and our keynote speaker that night is uh, our very own retired firefighter and retired Oakland County Sheriff uh, Deputy Art Schraw. And what makes it so special is this gentleman was actually there, boots on the ground, walking around after helping with the uh, looking for survivors and stuff like that. So it's, it should be a very good event this year. It will be very touching to hear from somebody who was actually there at that event. Um, we'll be so thankful to have him be our keynote speaker. Chief, when you were our fire chief for Orion Township, you brought back a portion of those towers. Let's talk about the significance of that. They offered, once uh, everything cleared out and, um, you know, as things were starting to get back so somewhat normal, that they were offering pieces of uh, steel, other artifacts from the ground zero. And we applied, uh, Orient Township Fire Department applied for it, and we received a piece of the steel. It's set up now at our station one uptown mm -hmm. uh, for people to see. And um, it's, uh, we used to be able to bring it right to the memorial on 9-11. And several years later, watching people touch it and tear up and that, and it's, it's, it was really a, a powerful thing to have. And uh, we still have it, and uh, I'm very proud of the township, the Orion Township Fire Department, for uh, being able to receive it. I'm very thankful that you have kept this before the public and honoring what took place on that day and how our first responders were such an important part of recovery. You said the art was there. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, he went with the Sheriff's Department contingency of people to uh, go over there and assist in any way they could. Um, and uh, they were there, I, I believe, three to four days. I, I don't really know. Art, uh, I'm hopeful, will uh, bring it out uh, during our ceremony this year. He, uh, you know, it's, it's I, I've, not only him, I've known other people have been there, and in fact, there was a couple other gentlemen that, that were there that I asked them, and it's the, the wounds are still too great for him to talk about, and uh, so. Uh, but uh, if, you know, people come on that evening, this coming uh, not, um, September 11th, I'm sure Art will uh, uh, be able to uh, speak on what he saw there. And, and I know it was very hard for him. I'm so thankful that he's able to be a part of this um, remembrance on September 11th at 7 o'clock at our Veterans Memorial. We will be in company with a lot of great people that day. And Chief, you have been so, such a blessing to the community to organize these events. You've been doing this for a number of years. Talk about the first one. Well, the first one actually, um, the, I wasn't, I, I'm presently on the Orient Veterans Memorial Committee, but I wasn't at that point, and uh, I was approached by the committee to do it. And uh, I, I was shocked to be, uh, to be honest with you, because I don't, I, I was not involved in doing things like that. You know, I, you, your house catches on fire, I'll come put it out, but, but to do something like this. And uh, when I started doing it that year and every year since then, I get very passionate about it. And, and unfortunately, I guess you might say, I'll, I'll, uh, 
I'll go to bat for anybody that doesn't think it was a, a significant time. And I, I have run into especially the younger people that um, you know were kids at that age and everything, and they just they, they don't want, they just wonder what what's the big deal. And uh, to me, it's very very important because out of everybody that uh, I mean, this this was an attack on a country that was doing nothing at that point. We weren't at war with anybody. And the randomness mm -hmm. of the t attack, they, there were 78 different countries represented in those towers from people. And so it wasn't just Americans they attacked that day. That was, that was the world that they attacked. And uh, that's what I like to, not that I enjoy doing it, but that's what I want to bring out, to let mm -hmm. people know that this is something that could happen to us again. If we let our guard down, we have to be vigilant. So. And the generations that are coming up need to be reminded of that um, significance of that attack on our nation um, on that day on September 11th. I went about a year after um, that attack of September 11th and I was amazed how small the buildings were that surrounded that. And they were netted because the brick had been compromised, so they netted those buildings so that it was safe to be in that area. But also of the station, how small it was, the fire station. You have some history about what took place with that station that day. Would you share it with us? They were, uh, they were actually training that day. They were doing a training, I believe, for a gas leak. And there was a news crew there filming their training in that. And, uh, um, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to say it this way, but they did capture history at that point because they mm -hmm. saw the plane coming in. They heard it, they, they, they heard the noise, and they knew something was wrong, and they were able to pan up and catch the very beginning of it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, if, I, if I may share, five years later when they uh, were talking about what they were gonna do to do a memorial net, my wife and I went over there during that time and uh, I commented to her that day that the people walking around workers net, I says, it almost looks like they're still in shock mm -hmm. five years later. And the one particular building that you were talking about, the Deutsche Bank, that was five years later and it still had the netting up. And it's like they haven't even done anything to it yet. They were, uh, but it was, it was so real to walk through, walk around there and, and watch these people and the it was still eerie quiet there. People weren't rowdy, they weren't making, you know, anything like that. It was, and we're talking, and I'm sure today you could go over there and 20 years later and you're gonna find people that were intimately involved with it that probably are still somewhat shocked by what happened, so. There's such a reverence um, for what occurred on that day. And when we gather together on the 11th, we will be sharing some of the events that occurred, but also the hopefulness as a nation, how we are overcomers. Um, when you are inviting people to come, who are you asking to attend? I'm asking everybody to attend, everybody, from little kids all the way up to people that if you can make it, um, please do, you know, uh, if you're mobile in that. Um, so, you know, I want everybody to hear this story, mm -hmm. uh, especially again this year, this is a gentleman that was there, boots on the ground. He can, he's gonna be able to share what I cannot share or anybody, you know, just because I was in the fire field at that time, I, I don't know what they went through or anything like that. And, uh, but I want, I want any and everybody to come that can come that day. And I know it's on a Saturday and I've actually heard from people who said, well, you know, you should move it to a different day. Well, nope. no, it's the significance of mm -hmm. it. So, you know. These people gave up their lives from 78 different countries. 2,997 people lost their lives that day. We're still losing lives today from cancer and stuff like that. They lost their lives. They have no more tomorrows. So please give us an hour that night to come and, and hear and, and just remember what had happened. ONTV will be recording that event as well. Correct. Will it be live for people to watch? I don't believe so. Okay. Um, I haven't talked to Joe yet about it or on TV and ask mm -hmm. him, but uh, I, I know every year he's there, the, on TV's there, and they film it and they, they post it after. But uh, um, again, you know, it just it's, it still doesn't give the 
true feeling when of, you're together right mm -hmm. um, what about parking where do you want to tell people they should park so we can get into the vent <laughs> safely yeah that's a bit of a challenge it's not so bad right now because Fogler's and uh, Jacobson's will probably be closed uh, by six o'clock that mm -hmm. night so they can park across the street in Fogler's a lot uh, they uh, on the other side of um, Starbucks coffee where Oprah's is they can park in there and um, we have a sound system now that um, actually can play FM but we haven't got a channel yet so mm -hmm. hopefully we can get that out the problem is it doesn't go very far so if you want to set in your vehicle at Fogler's or at buy Starbucks you probably could pick it up but uh, if you you know but it's still it's you know I, I have people today or last year that I saw tears in her eyes as, as we do the finale and uh, look at the flag and uh, you know it's just it's real moving and, and to be part of it is what you need to be there to be a part of it so yeah I hope everyone is able to come and support this effort but also remember together what we have overcome as a nation right. and to support Art in his bravery for being able to share what he went through and I think that's super important. I know you've served in three branches of the armed forces. There'll be a lot of veterans there that yes, night. Yes, there will be. And we want to honor them too. We, we always honor them. Um, what I, when I was asked to begin doing this on a yearly basis, what I did though was everything that uh, our crew does is first responders, uh, either retired, current, police, fire, um, everybody is first responders there basically and not to take away from the veterans I'm a proud veteran of Vietnam and, and everything else but mm -hmm. you know I want us to honor our first responders this day so yep. well thank you so much I'm very grateful that you're here in the studio with ONTV today is there anything that we missed that you want to cover before we close I can't think of anything uh, other than please, I can't stress enough, just give us an hour that night and I think that you will uh, really enjoy what, uh, I. you know, there's some words that you hate to use, enjoy, it's not an enjoyable thing, it's, a, it's something that you will uh, remember and cherish, so. Mm -hmm. Cherish is an excellent word to describe what we'll feel that night you know, cherish these things that we've been through as a nation together, but to come together as a community like this is very special. Thank you so much, Chief, for doing this. We always appreciate that. Well, thank you for having me. Like I said, it's, it's, it's very honorable to be here today and to be able to get this message out. Thank you. Okay. We're glad that you were able to join us today in the studio. We know that you'll be a part of this gathering on September 11th at the Orion Veterans Memorial at 7 o'clock. We'll see you there. Thank you, everyone.